All right, so you just got your clear to close on your house. You got your realtor, you got pre-approved, you went out shopping, you got your offer submitted, it got accepted, you've done all your inspections, you gave all the documents over to the loan officer, the underwriter approved it all, and you got clear to close. Now what? Well, now is when we start setting up our electric and changing over all the utilities and doing all those kind of good things between now and the time we close. A lot of times this is going to be at least three days to four days and more out. So you want to start setting all the stuff up, start transferring your mail if you're going to be moving into the new property and doing all that kind of stuff right there. So during this period, while you're doing all that activity, you're going to be hearing from your loan officer if you're getting a mortgage um, and from the attorney um, about the numbers that you're going to need to bring to closing. Some of you may come in and owe zero at down payment or anything else at closing. Others of you are going to have more substantial down payments, whether you're moving equity out of those older houses or whatever. But you're going to get those finalized numbers and you're going to be able to see those. Um, and they're going to give you that what's called cash to close, the stuff that you need to bring to closing in order to make sure that this closes. All right. So at closing, what do we expect at closing? bring at least two forms of ID. One of them would be either a state issued driver's license or a state issued picture ID. Another one can be um, usually a utility bill or whatever else. You, and those are going to need to be valid. They're going to need to be up to date and everything else. Um, you're going to need to bring those because the, um, the closing attorney is also going to be serving as a notary and they're going to have to record it. They're going to have to record that it was you who actually signed. So make sure that those come in. Most closings tend to last 45 minutes to an hour if it is a loan or if it's a purchase that has a loan with it. If it's cash, we can be out in 30 minutes if everybody's real talky. Um, if everybody's kind of quiet, we can usually get it out in 15 minutes. But typically on a mortgage loan or um, a mortgage purchase, then we're looking at about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Sometimes folks get real talkative and then get pretty long, <laughs> um, especially if we go over an hour. Um, but there's a whole lot of documents that need to be signed. A lot of them just need your signature. And the uh, closing attorneys usually go through them pretty quickly, and they will give you a copy of everything in case you can't sleep at night. You can go through and meet, read your mortgage paperwork, which in essence says, pay your mortgage on time, get to keep the house. That's what it says. Uh, that's an exciting time. So once, you, once we get to closing, we sit down, you go through all your documents. We're going to talk to um, the, the sellers and so forth, and you're going to give the check and everything to the closing attorney, and you're going to receive the keys to your home if you're taking possession right away. And then from there, we're going to take a great picture, and then you can go and start moving into your new home. And congratulations, you've just completed the entire process of buying a home here in Central Kentucky. I hope you use me as your realtor. I'd be thankful to do it again. My hope in through all of this is that we've made this process as painless as possible so that you can feel comfortable about the home that you purchased. I'm Jeremy James with Lifestyle Real Estate. Thank you for buying a home with me.